Hello, everyone. So we have uh, now entered in this uh, coordinate geometry uh, section, uh, basically conics, you can say. So in last class, we uh, discussed about circles, uh, some basic questions of exercise one. So uh, today we will uh, move forward to the uh, next exercise, exercise two uh, of the circles. So uh, let's start. So uh, this is our first question. It is saying if the line x plus 2 lambda y plus 7 equal to 0 is a diameter of the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 2y equal to 0, then the value of lambda is. So uh, one uh, circle is given and uh, its uh, diameter is also given, the equation of the diameter is, uh, basically. So we have to find this value of lambda. Okay, so let me write the equation of a circle. It is x square plus uh, y square minus 6x plus 2y equal to 0, right? So we can identify the center of this circle, right? Center will be minus g comma minus f. Or we can say uh, 3 comma minus 1, right? 3 comma minus 1 because 2g is 2g is minus 6 here so g becomes minus 3 and 2f is 2 here so f becomes 1 so our center is minus g means minus of 3 is 3 and minus of f means minus 1 now this is the center of the circle right now it must lie on the diameter and we know the uh, equation of diameter diameter is given as x plus x plus 2 lambda y plus 7 equals to 0. Now this point must satisfy this. So put the value of x and y here. So 3 plus 2 lambda, what is y minus 1 plus 7 is equal to 0. So this will become uh, 10, 10 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0. From here we get lambda is equal to 5. Okay. So this is our answer, lambda equal to 5. So option C is correct. Now let's see the next question, question number 2. If one end of diameter of the circle, this is minus 1 comma 2, then the other end of the diameter is. Okay. So uh, equation of circle is given. It's uh, one end of diameter is given and uh, we are asked to find its find the other end of the diameter we have to find the coordinates of other end of diameter okay so let me write first the equation of circle it is saying 2x square plus 2y square minus 4x minus 8y plus 2 is equals to 0 <coughs> so Okay, let me first make the uh, coefficient of x square and y square as 1. So I have to divide by 2. So it will be x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1 is equals to 0. Okay, now uh, we can say uh, the center of this circle. What will be the center? That will be 1 comma 2, right? 1 comma 2 will be the center of this circle. Now, uh, let me draw the uh, circle itself. Let me draw its uh, diameter also. Now, uh, one in, let this AB be the diameter. Let this AB be the diameter. We know the uh, one end of diameter that is minus 1 comma 2. Okay. And uh, we have to find the other... Uh, the coordinates of this b so let me assume it as a comma b and we know the center of this circle what is that 1 comma 2 the center of this circle is 1 comma 2 so if ab is the diameter and this is center c so this ac will be equal to bc right so c will be the midpoint of a and b so we can say 
this AC must be equal to BC. Okay, no, both are radius only. So AC equal to BC. <clears throat> now uh, I will, uh, how can I find the midpoint of this AB? This will be minus one plus A upon two. And that is nothing but that is equal to one. Okay. And this two plus B upon two is equal to two, right? The coordinates of this C. So from here, I get minus A plus one is equals to two, or we can say A is equal to three. And what will be B from here? Two plus B is equals to four. So B will be equal to uh, plus four minus two, that will be two. So three comma two. Three comma two will be the coordinates of B. So this will be our correct answer. Option number uh, B. Right. <coughs> now moving ahead. Let's see question number three. It is saying if a circle passes through the points zero comma zero, uh, a comma zero and zero comma b, then the centers then the center of the circle is okay. Means the circle is passing through uh, origin basically. So uh, let me uh, draw this sketch. What is given in the question? So this is our circle and and let me uh, consider this as coordinate axis. Okay. So this will be the zero comma zero point. Sorry. This will be a zero comma zero point. This point will be a comma zero, and this point will be zero comma b, right? And what it is saying, we have to find the center of the circle. Okay, we have to find the center of the circle. So center of the circle will be basically, if you see, this will be our diameter. Sorry. So uh, this point, this, suppose I am taking it as B and this is as A. So A, B, B will, uh, A, B will be our diameter, right? And uh, what will be the midpoint of this? The midpoint of uh, A, B will be the center of this circle. So we can easily find the coordinates of this C. C will be nothing but A plus 0 by 2. And the coordinates, the x axis, uh, sorry, x coordinate of C will be a plus zero upon two, and y coordinate, uh, y coordinate will be zero plus b upon two. So uh, x, we can give the coordinates of a, uh, C as a upon two comma b upon two. Okay, why this is, uh, why this AB will be diameter? Because it is making this. This AB is sustaining uh, the 90 degree at the circumference, right? Why 90 degree? Because both these are, uh, uh, what you say, both uh, this, this is Y axis, our Y axis, we can consider this as Y axis and this as X axis. Hence, this AB will be the diameter and uh, C will be the midpoint of this AB. And uh, by this, uh, we find the, uh, coordinates of C as A by 2 comma B by 2. Okay. So let's take the next question, question number 4. A circle passes through the points minus 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 11 and its radius is 5. Then its center is. Okay. So it is saying uh, the question has provided two points from which the circle is passing. And we also know the radius of that circle. Okay. So, suppose uh, this is our point A, whose coordinates are minus 1, 3. And one more point is given as B, whose coordinates are given as 5, 11. Okay. 
circle is passing through these two points and we also know the radius of that circle is as 5. These three things are given in the question and now we have to find the center. Okay. Uh, one uh, like the radius is known to us. No? Radius is given as 5. So let me check the uh, distance of AB. Like what is the length of AB? Okay. Uh, like one intuition is coming in my mind, like it may come as uh, 10. Why? It may, uh, and, and if it comes as 10, then uh, this AB will be the diameter. Right. So once we can uh, arrive at that uh, thing, then we can say the midpoint of this AB will be the center of this, uh, this set, circle. So let me first find the distance, this length of AB. Length of AB will be under root uh, 5 minus minus 1 whole square plus 11 minus 3 whole square. That is 6 square 36 plus 8 square 64 under root. So yeah, it's true. The AB is coming out to be 10 unit. AB is 10 unit. It means AB is the diameter. Right? AB is the diameter and if AB is the diameter, AB is the diameter of the circle. AB is the diameter. So center will be midpoint. What will be the center? Midpoint of this AB. That means minus 1 plus 5 upon 2 comma 3 plus 11 upon 2. This will be the coordinates of the center. That will be 5 minus 1, 4 by 2. That will be 2 comma 7. 11 plus 3, 14 by 2, center. So this will be the coordinates of the center. 2 comma 7. So option C is correct. So we are done with this question. Question number 4 is done. Now let's move to uh, question number 5. Now it is saying the radius of the circle having center at 2 comma 1 whose one of the chord is a diameter of the circle this. Okay. So let me draw a sketch for this question. <coughs> it is saying one circle is there. So uh, this is our circle. The radius of the circle having center at 2 comma 1. Okay. We will uh, draw it further. Whose one of the chord is the diameter of the circle. Okay. So I am drawing, going to draw one more. One more uh, circle here. This uh, dia is the chord of the bigger circle, right? And I think uh, this much sketch is sufficient. We can move uh, with our question now. So it is saying the radius of the circle having center at 2 comma 1. So I am taking this center as O, suppose. And this coordinates of this O is 2 comma 1 whose one of the chord, like this AB, is the chord of the uh, this circle. So this AB is now behaving as the diameter of the circle. Means it is diameter, this AB is the diameter of this circle, the uh, smaller circle and its equation is given by x square plus y square minus 2x minus 6y plus 6 equals to 0. Okay. So what we have to find? We have to find the radius of this bigger circle. We have to find the radius of the circle whose center is 2 comma 1, whose one chord is the diameter of the circle this. Okay. So uh, this AB is diameter of this bigger, what you say, this uh, given circle's equation means a smaller uh, circle. So what is the center of this? What is the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be 
one comma three. Center of this circle will be one comma three, and it will lie on AB itself. Okay. Suppose I am taking this as point as M. So the coordinates of this will be one comma three. And what is the radius for this circle? Radius for this circle will be one squared plus three square minus C. Minus C is uh, minus six. So one plus nine ten minus six equal to root four. So radius of this is two. So this MB we can say this uh, MB or what you say AM is equals to two. Okay. So this unit we uh, came to know as two. And uh, what we need to find, we need to find the radius. Okay. So let me draw that also. <clears throat> this we need to find it. We need to find this OB. This OB will be the radius of the bigger circle, right? So we need to find OB. And we know this uh, distance as MB as 2. So we can apply a Pythagorean theorem here. And we also can calculate this uh, distance of OM. So what will be OM basically? What will be the length of OM? It will be 2 minus 1 is square. Because we know the coordinates of O and M both. So 2 minus 1 whole square plus 1 minus 3 whole square under root. So this will be 1 square 1 plus minus 2 square that will be 4. So this will be under root 5. Under root 5. So we know OM and we know MB. So we can in triangle OMR in triangle sorry in triangle OMB. We can apply Pythagorean theorem. So this will be OM square plus MB square is equal to OB square. And this OB is what uh, we need actually. So OM is OM square is 5 plus MB square. What is MB square? MB square is 4. That will be equal to OB square. So 9 is equal to OB square or we can say OB is equal to 3. So OB is nothing but the radius of the bigger circle that will be 3. 3 unit. Right. So our answer is option A. 3 unit. So let's see the next question. The center of the circle inscribed in the square formed by the lines x square minus 8x plus 12 equal to 0 and y square minus 14y plus 45 equal to 0. Okay, so we will draw the sketch for this. Let uh, this be circle. And this be our circle. The circle is inscribed, no? So it will be lie within the square. Okay. This will be basically our figure. The center of the circle inscribed in the square formed by lines. We have to find the center of the circle. Now, these squares are formed by the line x square minus 8x. x square minus 8x plus 12 is equals to 0. And y square minus 14y plus 45 is equals to 0. This consists of two lines basically. So, uh, x square, we can uh, factorize it as x square minus 6x minus 2x plus 12 is equal to 0. From here we get x, uh, x minus 6 minus 2x minus 6 is equals to 0. 
So x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. These two solutions we are getting from here. And from here we will get y square minus 5, 9s are 45. So 9y minus 5y plus 45 is equals to 0. So y, y minus 9 minus 5, y minus 9 is equals to 0. From here we get y equal to 5 and 9. So basically, if you see, uh, what uh, let me uh, name this uh, square as A, B, C and D. So this A, D line will be basically x equal to 2. Right? And this C, D line will be this C D line will be actually what you say x is equal to 6. Okay. This x equal to 2 and this is x equal to 6. And what will be this AB line? This AB line will be basically y equal to 5 and this uh, DC line will be y equal to 9. So our uh, what will be the length of the sides of the square? It will be 4. This will also 4. This will be also 4. And this will also be 4. Okay, so now we have to find the center of the circle. So if uh, I tell what will be the coordinates of A, B, C, D, so we can say this will be 2, 5. The B coordinates of B will be 6, 5. Coordinates of C will be 6, 9. And coordinates of D will be 2, 9. Okay. And now we have to find the center of the circle. So it will be nothing but it, it will be half of this means x will be uh, 2 plus 6 upon 2. Like if we say uh, C center. So center will be this 2 plus 6 upon 2 and uh, this 5 plus 9 upon 2. 5 plus 9 upon 2. That will be 4 comma 8 by 2, 4 comma 7. 9, 5, 14 by 2. So 4 by 7 will be our answer. So coordinates of 4 will be, sorry, coordinates of center will be 4, 7. So option A is correct. Now coming to the next question, ABCD is a square whose side is A. The equation of circle circumscribing the square taking AB and AD as the axis of reference. Okay. Uh, in last question, the circle was inscribed. Uh, now, in this question, it is saying that the circle is circumscribing the square. So, uh, let me draw a sketch here also. So, this is our square. And let me draw a circle which is circumscribing this. Sorry. Okay. No. Let me draw it separately. First, I am drawing this circle and I will draw a square inside it. Yeah, right. So what is uh, given in the question? This ABCD is a, a, B, C, D is a square. A, B, C, D is a square. Whose side is A? Okay. The equation of circle, we have to find the equation of the circle, circle which is circumscribing the square and taking A, B and A, D as the axis of reference. Okay. So we have taken a uh, a, B and A, G, A, D as the axis of reference. So suppose I am taking the coordinates, uh, taking the A as origin. So uh, the coordinates of A will be 0, 0. And what will be the coordinates of B? Coordinates of B will be A, 0. Why? Because the sides of the uh, square is of length A. And what will be the coordinates of this D? Coordinates of D will be 0, A. And the coordinates of C will be A comma A. So now we have to find the equation of the circle. So how can we find? How can we find? Let me join this line segment BD. 
let me join this line segment BD. So what will be the BD? BD will be the diameter. BD will be diameter of this circle. BD will be diameter of this circle. And uh, we know the coordinates of B and D. So we can write the uh, equation of circle in uh, diametric form as x minus x1, x minus x2, plus y minus y1, y minus y2 is equal to 0. Okay. If we know the coordinates of the uh, ends of diameter, we can write the equation of circle in this form. So this is called diametric form. We can say it as diametric form. Diametric form of circle. So equation of circle is written in this way if we know the ends of the diameter. So what is x1 and x2? So let me tell this b as x1 and y1. And let me tell uh, this d as x2 comma y2. Okay. <clears throat> so our equation will become x minus a and x minus x2. What is x2? x2 is 0. So it will be x only. Then y and minus y1. y1 is 0 here. So it will be y into y minus a equal to 0. This will be the equation of circle. So it will become x square minus ax plus y square minus ay is equals to 0. So this is our required equation of circle. x square plus y square minus ax minus uh, minus ax minus ay equal to 0. So option C is correct. Option C is correct answer for this. So let's take the next question, question number eight. It is saying the locus of the center of the circle for which one end of diameter is 3 comma 3 uh, while the other end uh, lies on the line x plus y equal to 4. While the other end lies on the x plus y equal to 4. Okay. And we have to uh, find the locus of the center of the circle. So we are given with one circle. We are given with one circle. This is our circle. And uh, one end of diameter is also given. So let me draw a uh, diameter of this. So suppose this is our diameter of this circle. And the one end is one end of diameter is known to us 3 comma 3 and the other end lies on the line. Okay. So let me draw one straight line here. Yeah, I think this sketch is done. We can now this uh, AB. Let me assume this as AB. This AB is the diameter. This will be the center. The diam uh, the coordinates of A is given as three comma three. And uh, this uh, B, the other end of diameter lies on the line. The equation of line is given as x plus y equal to 4. Okay. So B lies on this line. So what can I take the coordinates of B? Suppose I am taking coordinates of B as A, the x coordinate as A. Then what will be the uh, y coordinate? Y coordinate will be 4 minus A, right? 4 minus A. Since it lies on the line x plus y equal to 4. Now, what we need to know, we need to uh, find the locus of the center of the circle. So let me assume this uh, center as C and uh, let me consider its uh, coordinates as h comma k. Okay. 
So A coordinates of A is known to us. Coordinates of um, B is known to us. Means it is in terms of A, but it is known. So we can say uh, find the coordinates of H means coordinates of C. So what will be the coordinates of C basically? Coordinates of C uh, is H comma K we have considered. So H will be actually three plus it will be a midpoint of A and B. So this will be three plus A upon two, right? And uh, what will be our K? K will be actually midpoint of, uh, sorry, three plus four minus A, three plus four minus A. Sum of uh, both the uh, ordinates divided by two. So three plus four minus A upon two. That is equal to, 7 minus a upon 2 that comes out to be the value of k so we what we will do now we will uh, write a in terms of h and k and we will we will then equate uh, what we got uh, the value of a so that and finally we will replace the h and k by x and y so from here we get 2h minus 3 is equals to a 2h minus 3 is equals to a, right? And from here we get uh, 2k, 2k minus 7 is equals to minus a, or we can say a is equals to 7 minus 2k. Okay. So uh, from here we can say 2h minus 3 is equals to 7 minus 2k. Why? Because 2h minus 3 is also equals to a and 7 minus 2k is also equals to a. So from here we get 2h, 2h plus 2k is equals to 10. Okay, 2h plus 2k, 7 plus 3, 10. From here we get h plus k is equals to 10. Now we replace h and uh, k by x and y. So x plus y is equals to, oh, this will be 10 upon 2, so 5. So uh, now replace H and K by X and Y. So we will get X plus Y equal to five. So the locus of the center of the circle will be a straight line basically. X plus Y equal to five. So our answer will be uh, option B. Now let's see the next question. Question number nine. The equation of the circle which passes through 1 comma 0 and uh, 0 comma 1 and has its radius as small as possible. So two points are given from where uh, the circle is passing and we have to say uh, its radius as small as possible. So uh, we have to draw one circle. Let us uh, uh, understand this by. Let me uh, draw it first. Yeah. So let me mark it, then uh, I will explain. Let me mark this as A, this as B, and uh, this coordinates of this as 1, comma 0, and coordinates of B as 0, comma 1, right? So uh, these coordinates of uh, A and B are given, means A of any two points is given. And the question is saying, that they find the equation of the circle having its uh, radius as small as possible. So this yellow colored circle is the smallest circle passing through A and B, having AB as the diameter. Means what I am saying, if two points are given and we have to find the uh, 
least uh, radius circle radius of least uh, sorry circle of least radius then ab that those two points must be the diameter of that circle why because now let's see the uh, this white circle what i have uh, drawn here let's uh, see this white circled circle uh, sorry white colored circle so for this is white uh, color circle is also passing through a and b okay no but it is not the smallest circle passing through a and b there will be actually infinite number of circles circles passing through a and b but the smallest circle will be that which will be having a b as the diameter so this is the thing in this question this is what you have to understand so uh, i i have to write the equation of this circle basically and uh, we know the uh, uh, diametric ends of this circle so uh, we can write this as x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equals to 0 where x1 uh, y1 and x2 y2 are the diametric ends so let me write it as x minus 1 into x plus y into y minus 1 is equals to 0. So this will be x square, x square minus x plus y square minus y is equals to 0 or you can rewrite it as x square plus y square minus x minus y equals to 0. So this is our equation of the circle. x square plus y square minus x minus y equal to 0. So option D is correct. So we are done with this question number nine, right? Let me take question number 10. Now what is saying? If the points, one, two, three, four, like four points are given with their coordinates and it is saying that the four points are concyclic, then the value of C. Concyclic means all these four points lie on a circle. <clears throat> all these four points uh, lie on a circle. Okay. So, let me draw and this point, we consider it as A, B, C and D1. So what are these points? 2 comma 0, 2 comma 0. This will this is 0 comma 1. This is 4 comma 5, 4 comma 5, and this is 0 comma C. This is 0 comma C, right? So uh, let me assume this as a center O. So if you see the distance of all these points from this center will be equal basically. And all these will be equal to R. Right? So all these distances will be equal. That is OA is equals to OB is equal to OC is equals to OD and that will be equal to radius equal to the uh, radius of the circle. Now uh, let me find this OA first. So what will be OA? Or we can say a square it so OA square is equal to OB square is equal to OC square is equal to OD square. We can say this also. So we, we will get rid of uh, this uh, under root thing. So what will be OA squared? OA squared will be OA squared. Okay, then uh, in that case, I have to take the, take this as, I have to uh, assume some uh, coordinates of O, no? So let me take it as a comma b. We can do no. Yeah, we can do because c is here. So we can take it as a comma b, not an issue. So OA squared will be a minus 2 square plus b squared, right? And that will be equal to OB squared. What will be OB squared? Uh, that will be a squared plus b minus 1 squared, right? So from here we get a squared plus 4 minus 
a square plus 4 minus 4a plus b square is equal to a square plus b square plus 1 minus 2b. So a square b square will be cancelled out. a square b square will be cancelled out. This will be 4 minus 4a minus 1 plus 2b equal to 0. Or we can say 2b minus 4a 2b minus 4a plus 3 equals to 0. So this, this is our first equation. Uh, let's consider it as first equation. Now, similarly, we can say this uh, OB squared is equal to OC squared or OA squared is equal to OA squared is equal to OC squared. So what is OA squared? OA squared is A minus 2 squared plus B squared is equal to OC squared. What will be OC squared? A minus 4 squared uh, plus B minus 5 whole squared. So a square plus 4 minus 4a plus b square is equals to a square plus 16 minus 8a plus b square plus 25 minus 10b. So a square b square is got cancelled. Here we are left with 4 minus 4a and uh, plus 8a plus 10b and plus 16 and plus 25, 35, 41, that minus 41 is equals to 0. So further on further simplification, it becomes 8a minus 4a means 4a plus 10b, 4a plus 10b minus 41 plus 4, minus 41 plus 4 becomes minus 37, right? is equals to 0. So this is our equation number 2. From here we can find the value of A and B. Okay. And after find, uh, finding the value of A and B, we what we will do? We will again equate uh, this uh, OD equal to OA or OD equal to OB any and we will find the equation and see. Uh, from there, we can uh, find the value of C. So this is the motive behind uh, doing all these exercises. So let me solve it. So uh, if I add both these equations, this 4A term will be cancelled. So it will be 2B plus 10B. That will be 12B, right? 12B uh, minus 34 is equals to 0. So B will be 34 by 12. So that will be 17 by 6. Right? B will be equal to 17 by 6. So uh, what will be our 4B? 4B will be 2 into 17 by 6 plus 3 is equals to 4A. Right? So this will be 17 by 3 plus 3 is equals to 4a. So 4a will be equal to 3, 17 plus 3, 20. This 3, 3 is a 9. Means 17 plus 9 will be 26. Right. So 17 plus 9. 4a will be 3, 17 plus 9, 26, 26 by 3. 26 by 3. Or we will get a as uh, 26 upon 12 or 13 upon 6. So a comes out as 13 upon 6. So this will be the coordinates of the center of the circle. This O comes out to be 13 upon 6 and 17 upon 6. Now again equating uh, this value, uh, this OA is equals to OD, we can find the value of C. We can find the value of C from here. 
Okay. You can also equate this O B is equals to O D not an issue. Then also you can find the value of C. So uh, I think it is clear. I am uh, not uh, taking this uh, forward. So I am moving to the next question now. So that will be equal to question 11. Okay. So it is saying the point on a circle nearest to the point 2 comma 1. Okay, one point is given. And it is saying the point on the circle nearest to that point is at distance 4 unit and farthest point is 6 comma 5. Then the center of the circle is. Okay. So if you see. Now, uh, it is saying this is, suppose this is the point P. This is the point P, 2 comma 1. Okay. Uh, let me consider this as point A. Means, on extending this line, it meets the circle at A and B. And A is the nearest point. It is, uh, it is at distance 4 units from here. It is at distance 4 units from here. And the farthest point is 6 comma 5. Okay. So here one concept is there. Like uh, the farthest distance from P will be along the diameter actually. If PA is the sort, uh, if PA uh, is 4 unit. Okay. And uh, A is the point nearest to the uh, P. So the farthest point will be along the diameter itself. What does it mean? It means that AB must be the diameter. Then only we can say the B, the B point will be farthest from P. Right. So uh, PA is given out to be 4. This PA is given out to be 4. And uh, the coordinates of point B is given as 6, 5. Okay. Then the center of the circle. We need to find the center of the circle. Okay. So, this, uh, this distance is uh, given as 4. So, PA is given as uh, 4 and farthest distance is 6, 5. We can uh, find the uh, distance this PB. We can find this distance PB. What will be PB basically? PB will be uh, 4 is squared, 6 minus 2 is squared plus 5 minus 1 is squared, 4 is squared under root. So 16 plus 16, that will be 4 root 2. This PB will be 4 root 2. This PB will be 4 root 2. So we can say uh, AB will be 4 root 2 minus 4, right? That is nothing but taking 4 common root 2 minus 1. This AB, the uh, length of AB will be 4 uh, into root 2 minus 1. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, if you see this uh, total distance, this total uh, length PB, right? And uh, A point, if you see, we can uh, say this A point is dividing the line segment PB in the ratio of or from here you see one thing this pa is 4 no this pa is 4 this uh, ab is let's understand in this way this pa is 4 and uh, this uh, what you say ab is 4 into root 2 minus 1 right so, this PA upon uh, AB, how much it will be? What is PA? PA will be, length of PA will be 4. Length of AB will be 4 into root 2 minus 1. So, it will be 1 upon root 2 minus 1. 
this four and four will be cancelled out. So uh, actually this point A is dividing this line segment uh, PB in the ratio of this one is to one is to uh, root two minus one. Is it clear? This point A is dividing this line segment PB in the ratio one is to root two minus one. So we can find the coordinates of A. What will be the coordinates of A basically? This one into six. Take in the section formula we have learned no m x two plus n x one plus root two minus one into this uh, x upon m plus n means one plus root two minus one. And what will be the y coordinate of a? It will be one into five which we can write 5 plus root 2 minus 1 into this thing uh, 1 upon 1 plus root 2 minus 1. This will be the coordinates of A. So 6 plus 2 root 2 minus 2 upon 1 minus 1 cancelled out root 2 comma uh, 5 5 uh, minus 1, 4 plus root 2 upon 1 and 1 cancelled out upon root 2. Okay. So, finally, we can write the coordinates of A as 4 plus 2 root 2 upon root 2 and 4 plus root 2 upon root 2. Okay. Now, we know the coordinates of A. We know the coordinates of B. Then what will be the coordinate of C? It will be the midpoint. Right? It will be the midpoint of this. So uh, if we say C is the midpoint. C is the midpoint of AB. If C is the midpoint of AB. So it must be equal to. The coordinates of C must be. So let me write it as coordinates of C as uh, A comma B. So A will be equals to X uh, coordinate of this 4 plus 2 root 2 upon root 2 plus X coordinate of B that is 6 whole divided by 2, right? This will be A. And uh, what will be B? B will be uh, y coordinate of uh, this A. That means 4 plus root 2 upon root 2 plus uh, y coordinate of uh, this, uh, what do you say, our point B. What was that? 5, right? So uh, that will be plus 5 upon. So this will be our coordinates of the center of the circle. Okay. So on simplification, I guess uh, we get this uh, option as C, 4 plus uh, two, root 2, comma 3 plus root 2. So uh, this is our option C. The answer to this question is C, I think. Now, take the next question, question number 12. The intercepts on the line y equal to x by the circle x square plus y square minus 2x equal to 0 is AB. Equation of the circle on AB as a diameter is. Okay, let me first draw this sketch. It will be more convenient. Line what it is saying, line y equal to x, no?
So suppose we are taking this line y equal to x. Okay. This line is y equal to x and uh, this is the circle. So the intercept on the line y equal to x by the circle, this x square plus y square minus 2x, the equation of this circle is x square plus y square minus 2x is equals to 0 is AB. Right? This is AB actually. Okay. And the equation of circle is given as x square plus y square minus 2x equal to 0. Now we have to draw one circle. Equation of circle on AB as the diameter. So we have to find the equation of that circle whose diameter is AB. Basically, this thing, uh, this is what is asked in the question. Now taking AB as a diameter, let me draw one circle. Yeah. So we have to find the equation of this circle, basically. We need to find the equation of this circle. Whose AB is the diameter. AB is the diameter. AB is the diameter for this circle. Okay. So, uh, in uh, the equation of this, let me put y equal to x because uh, y equal to x also lies on the circle. So, if you put y equal to x, we will get x square plus x square minus 2x is equals to 0 or 2x square minus 2x is equals to 0. And again putting uh, x equal to y, again here in this equation we get y square plus y square minus 2y is equals to 0. Actually what I am trying to do, I am trying to identify the coordinates of A and B. Like I am solving these two equations, no? So we will get the point of intersection. So uh, this is what this 2y square minus 2y is equals to 0. Solving this quadratic in x, 2x square minus 2x equal to 0 will give me the x coordinate of A and B. From here we get x1 and x2 that will be the coord x coordinate of a and b and from here we will get y1 and y2 which will be the y coordinate of a and b. Okay, then after getting that x1, x2 and y1, y2 we used to uh, write it in, in diametric form as x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2. So instead of doing all these things if we add these two quadratic no this 2x square minus 2x plus 2y square minus 2y is equals to 0. This will be the required equation of the circle. This will be the required equation of the circle. Why? I am directly adding it. I am directly adding it. Why? From these two equations, we get two value of uh, uh, x. Okay. And that two values will be the x coordinate of a and b. And from here, we get two values of y, y1 and y2, that will be the y coordinate of a and b. Okay, then after finding this x1 and x2, I will again make a quadratic by putting x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2. So instead of doing all these things, I am just adding these two quadratic. Adding these two quadratic, we get the uh, required uh, equation of circle. So two, we can take, you can take two common from here. So x square plus y square minus x minus y equal to zero. This will be our answer. x square plus y square minus x minus y equal to zero. So this uh, question number 12 is, uh, this option A is correct for question number 12. So uh, what is given question number 13 is saying, find the equation of circle, the end points of whose diameter are 2 comma minus 3 and minus 2 comma 4. So it's easy. We have done a similar type of questions earlier also. So 2 comma minus 3 and B minus 2 comma 4. These are the diametric ends. Find the equation of circle, the ends of whose diameter means these are the diametric ends of circle. So find the center and radius. So simply we can write it as x minus 2 into x plus 2 
plus y plus 3 means y minus y1 y minus y2 is equals to 0. This will be the required part it, uh, equation of circle. So let's simplify it. It will be x square minus 4 plus uh, y square minus 4y plus 3y that will be a minus y minus 12 is equals to 0. Okay. So finally it becomes x square plus y square uh, minus y minus 16 is equals to 0. Now what is the center for this circle? Center will be no uh, x term. So center will be 0 comma 1 by 2, right? <laughs> 0 comma 1 by 2 will be the center for this circle. And what will be radius? Radius will be under root g square plus f square minus c. So g square is 0. f square is 1 by 4 and minus c. Minus c means minus of minus 16 that will be 16. So this will be 4 1 plus 64 under root that will be root of 65 by 2. Okay. So uh, this will be our answer. The center will be this and the radius will be root 65 by 2. So 13th. Now let's see question number 14. If a 4 comma 1 be an extremity of a diameter of circle, find the coordinates of extremity of the other extremity of the diameter. Okay. So it's saying let me consider it as AB. AB is the diameter of the circle. So the points Coordinates of A is given as 4, 1. Okay. And we have to find the coordinates of B. Find the coordinates of the other extremity of the diameter. Okay. So let me consider it as A, B. But we know the uh, equation of this, uh, this circle. The equation of this circle is x square plus y square minus 2x plus 6y minus 15 is equals to 0. So if equation of circle is known means it means we know the center also. What will be the center? The center for this circle will be 1 comma minus 3. 1 comma minus 3, right? So this one will be the coordinates of C will be 1 comma minus 3. Now C will be the uh, midpoint of AB, right? So 4 plus a by 2 is equals to 1 and 1 plus b upon 2 is equals to minus 3. So from here we get 4 plus a is equals to 2 or a is equals to 4 plus a is equals to 2. So a is equals to 2 minus 4 means minus 2. And what will be B? B will be B plus 1 is equals to minus 6. So B will be minus 7. So this will be the coordinates of center. Uh, sorry, the other uh, coordinates of B means uh, coordinates of other extremity of diameter. Okay, hope this is clear. So let's move to the next question. Question number 15. It is saying find the equation of circle drawn on the diagonal of the rectangle as its diameter whose sides are x equal to 4, x equal to minus 2, y equal to 5 and y equal to minus 2. Okay, similar type of question we have done in this exercise only. I think in MCQ, but anyhow here we are not having options. We will do it once again, not an issue.
So this is what given. Find the equation of circle drawn on the diagonal. Okay, diagonal. First, let me write it as x equal to minus 2. I am writing the equation of these lines. x equal to minus 2, then x is equal to 4. And this line is y equal to minus 2. y equal to minus 2. And this is uh, y equal to 5, right? So let me name it as a b c and d so coordinates of a will be coordinates of a will be minus 2 x coordinate and y coordinate minus 2 what will be the coordinate of b it will be 4 comma minus 2 coordinate of c will be 4 comma 5 and coordinate of d will be minus 2 comma 5 right so this will be the coordinate of D. Now, uh, we have to draw one circle taking diagonal as the diameter, right? Find the equation of circle drawn on the diagonal of rectangle as its diameter. Yeah. So it is saying that this is... Uh, This will be the uh, diagonal of rectangle, right? Considering this AC as diameter, considering this AC as diameter, we have to draw one circle. Okay. So this equation of this circle, we have to find out. Equation of this circle, we need. So we know the uh, diametric and this AC will be nothing but diameter. No, This is the diameter of the circle and we know the coordinates of A and C. So we can write it as X minus X1 means minus 2. That will become X uh, plus 2. X minus X1. X minus X2 plus Y minus Y1. That will also become Y plus 2. And y minus y2, y minus 5 is equals to 0. This will be the equation of the circle. Okay. Now, some uh, uh, people can say, like, I will consider this BD as the diameter. You can do that also. Considering BD as diameter, if you consider BD as diameter, right? So, what will be the equation of the circle? The equation of circle will be... Uh, x minus 4, x minus x1, x minus x2 plus y minus y1 means y plus 2 and y minus y2, y minus 5 is equals to 0. So if you observe both these equations will be same x minus 4 into x plus 2 plus y plus 2 into y minus 5. So uh, you can simplify this and uh, get the answer. I am living here only. So, uh, anyway, whether you consider AC as diameter or BD as diameter, you are going to have the same answer. So, uh, this is question number 16. It is saying that the find the equation of circle which passes through point 1, 1, 2, 2 and whose radius is 1. Okay, so it's saying it is passing through two points. So uh, let me take it as a uh, one comma one, and uh, this as b, which is two comma two, and we know the radius of this circle. We know the radius of this circle as one. Okay, so three informations are given. This two points and one radius. Now we have to derive the equation of the circle. So let me write the equation of circle in a center radius form like this x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square, where uh, c is the center of this circle having coordinates as h, comma k. We can write the standard form of circle in this way also where the centers uh, in center radius form. 
like h and k is the coordinate of center and r is the radius of the circle now this 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 must satisfy this equation so 1 minus h whole square plus 1 minus k whole square is equal to what is r r is 1 means that is equal to 1 so opening this uh, we get h square plus 1 minus 2 h plus 1 plus k square minus 2 k is equals to 1 or h square plus k square minus 2 h minus 2 k minus 2 h minus 2 k plus 1 is equals to 0 right now uh, b should also satisfy this uh, equation so putting that also 2 minus h whole square plus 2 minus k whole square is equals to 1 so 4 plus h square minus 4 h plus 4 plus k square minus 4 k is equals to 1 that will be equal to 4 h square plus k square minus 4 h minus 4 k plus 4 plus 4 8 minus 1 that will be 7 plus 7 is equals to 0 okay now comparing these two this 1 and 2 they both represent the uh, same thing so we can say this uh, uh, minus 2 h minus 2 k plus 1 is equals to minus 4 h minus 4 k plus 7 okay so this will become 2 h 4 h minus 2 h 2 h 4k minus 2k plus 2k and 7 minus 1 that will be 6. So h plus k is equals to 3. We got uh, this relation h plus k equals to uh, 3. Now putting this in any of the uh, equation what we get let me put uh, it in this equation. I will be getting 1 so means h what will be h h will be nothing but uh, 3 minus k okay so putting h equal to 3 minus k i will get 1 minus h 1 minus h no so 1 minus 3 plus k whole square plus 1 minus k square is equals to 1 so uh, it will give a quadratic right it will give a quadratic in k Solving this, this becomes uh, k minus 2 whole square plus uh, 1 minus k square is equals to 1. So this will be k square plus 4 minus 4k plus 1 plus k square minus 2k uh, minus 1 is equals to 0. So this will be 2k square minus 6k, 2k square minus 6k. Uh, this plus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled plus 4 equal to 0 or k square minus 3k plus 2 is equals to 0. So k square minus 2k minus k plus 2 equal to 0 k k minus 2 minus 1 k minus 2 equals to 0. From here we get uh, two values of k k is equals to 1 or 2 okay so putting uh, k equal to 1 if you say when we put k equal to 1 what will uh, our h be our h will become 3 minus 1 that is 2 and if when k is equals to 2 our h will become 1 okay so when k is 2, h is 2 and uh, when k is 1, h is 2 and when k is 2, h is 1. So uh, putting this in our original uh, equation like this x minus h whole square. This is what we assumed, no? The equation of circle. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to 1. So uh, the, let me put uh, h is uh, 2. So this will become x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 
when h is 2, k is 1. y minus 1 is square is equal to 1. This will be our uh, one first equation. And uh, when we consider h as 1, I will get x minus 1 whole squared. In that case, k will be 2. So y minus 2 whole squared is equals to 1. So this is the second equation. So both are our answer. Right. So this both will be our answer. Okay. This will be also, this will be also our answer. So moving ahead, this is our last question of this exercise, exercise number uh, two. So uh, it is saying that find the equation of circle which passes through the points 3 comma 4 comma 3 comma minus 6 and 1 comma 2. Okay. So uh, through uh, through three non-collinear points, only one and uh, one circle can pass, right? Through uh, two points, uh, infinite number of circles can pass, but uh, through three non-collinear points, only one circle can pass. So uh, let me consider the equation of circle as our standard equation that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Let me consider this as the equation of the circle. Now, since it passes through all these points, it must satisfy all these, uh, means all these three points must satisfy this equation. So, <coughs> sorry. So, let's put it. It will be uh, 9 plus, I am putting 3 comma 4. So, uh, 9 plus 16 plus 2 into 3, 6g. 6g plus uh, 8f plus c is equals to 0, right? Uh, so, uh, further we can simplify it, no? So this will be 6g plus 8f plus c equals to uh, 16 9 minus 25. So let me put it as equation 1. And uh, that second point will also satisfy it. Uh, so this will be 9 plus 36 uh, plus 2g into 3. That is nothing but 6g. And uh, 2y means minus 12f minus 12f plus c is equals to 0. So this will be 6g minus 12f plus c, 6g minus 12f plus c is equals to uh, 36 and 9 is uh, 45. 36 plus 10, 46, 45. So that will be minus 45. So let's consider it as equation 2. And this third point will also satisfy this equation. So 1 plus 4 plus 2g, 2f into 2, that will be 4f, 4f plus c is equals to 0. So 2g plus 4f plus c is equals to 4 plus 1 is minus 5. So this is our three equations and we are having g, f and c are known, uh, g, f and c as unknowns and we are having three equations so we can solve it. So, uh, let me uh, this uh, subtract this second from uh, first. We will get 8f minus, so this will become 20f. C and C will be cancelled out. So, 20f will be equal to <laughs> minus 25 plus 45, right? So, 45 minus 25 will be 20. So, f will become 1. Okay. f will be equal to 1. And uh, we can uh, subtract this also. Or uh, let me simplify it. That will become 6g minus 12 plus c equals to minus 45. Or uh, 6g plus c will be equals to minus 33 and uh, this will become 2g plus 
4 plus c equals to minus 5. So 2g plus c equals to minus 9. So 2g plus c equals to minus 9. Now subtract it. Subtracting we get 4g. <laughs> If you subtract it, what you will get? 6G minus 2G, that will be 4G uh, minus 33 plus 9. That will be minus 24, right? So uh, G will be minus 6. And what will be C? If G will be uh, minus 6, then it will be minus 12 plus 6 is equals to uh, minus 9. That means C is equals to 12 minus uh, 9 that is 3. So our equation of the circle will become our equation of the circle will become x square plus y square plus 2 into g g is minus 6 2 g x plus 2 into f f is 1 2 f y plus 3 is equals to 0 that is nothing but x square plus y square minus 12 x plus 2y plus 3 equals to 0. This is the required equation of the circle. So uh, we are done with this exercise. We are done with this exercise. Uh, okay. I think uh, this exercise is clear to everyone. Uh, so this is all for today. And uh, we will uh, meet soon with our next exercise, that is exercise number three of the circle. So till then, uh, take care, Tata, goodbye, okay?